pretty clear that the FCC uh, and the, the court overturning their ability to enforce, it made it very clear that, you know, the, the golden rule. I got the gold, I make the rules. So it says, now, it is allowed that you can discriminate and you can block. Discriminate. Discri yeah, that's called throttling. Discrimination is legal. I mean, that's such a like a 180, like go call Al Sharpton and get him down here. Discrimination's legal. I'd say what? Yeah, it's legal. And we could charge whatever we want and you gotta come to us and make the deal. And yeah, so did they or didn't they? Why would they want the right to do it? Why would they want, well, right, but if they weren't doing it, and it was the timing was interesting. We didn't really talk about this at all. The timing of the court overturning the FCC net neutrality rules, again, not overturning the rules, making it clear that they didn't have the authority to create or enforce. Hmm. And then the Comcast Netflix deal was announced within a week. I don't, I, what do you think, Rich? You think, you think customers were having a hard time getting the bids? Customers were clearly having a hard time. <laughs> so I don't know. By the way, now you've got That's okay. Is what it is. Is what it is. Is what it is. But if you know, if you now have Verizon, and some Verizon customers think they're being throttled today because they you know, got the same issue, but there's no don't have the market capacity, and that gets into your Time Warner cable, Comcast cable merger that I think everyone is concluding is not anti-competitive from a cable standpoint because they don't compete. <coughs> but it gives them an incredible amount of market power that will allow them to cut a better deal if they're allowed to fly. Listen, it's last point on this. It's not that they shouldn't be allowed to charge both sides or whatever. It's that there's no police department anymore. Mm -hmm. Here's, here's <laughs> if I if I could just and, and gosh, I wish you wouldn't put me in a position of defending Comcast. I really, <laughs> I really, I really Come on, we're that. trying. Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the camera's off. Uh -oh, uh -oh, Quick. Uh -oh. um, but, but I hope the air conditioner doesn't come on again. I want to hear this. But, but, but seriously, what I would say is that I don't know of a single practice or function or service that was in practice before the FCC adopted net neutrality rules that was stopped because of those rules or one that didn't exist during those rules and exist today. I don't. I don't know of one thing that that has occurred that was okay, and is now not okay, or was then not okay, or everything not okay, and then okay. The Comcast Netflix deal has nothing to do with net neutrality. The Comcast Netflix deal, Comcast is still subject to the net neutrality rules. They agreed to be subject to them. So, well, but today. They are subject to those rules. So those rules and this agreement are not in conflict. Now, whether, whether you like the concept of peering and transit agreements or don't, whether you think the internet needs more regulation or, or don't, the fact is that it's done pretty well with this amalgam of networks and edge providers and, and ISPs for 25 years with very, very little government regulation. And, and the other thing I would say is that the important aspect of this court decision was the FCC does have jurisdiction. The rules it adopted and the way it adopted them, they were vacated. But the court said, FCC, you have jurisdiction. You just need to decide how to exercise it and do it in a way that complies with those laws. So, so I was in, in, in your comments, I, I, I was looking into what was going on with Verizon, and, and there were some accusations about uh, their, you know, Netflix being throttled or blocked. Um, and that, it, they, that, that the individual did that, and then the, the what was he work, I don't know if it was a small ISP or what, what, what outfit he was associated with. They had a whole bunch of other people do a bunch of tests, and they came back and, and were not able to, to identify any throttling or blocking that would violate the net neutrality uh, rules. They had a huge number of individuals who jumped on and were doing ping tests to, to try to figure out. You, you had Netflix come out and say, no, nobody's throttling us here. Um, but that, what's worth noting there is 
that is part of at least the old net neutrality rules and the transparency that can continue on. And the notion of the transparency is that the ISP has to be very clear about their network management processes. I think this is an example of how that's a good thing in that there are people watching. And the, net, the, the transparency rules are specifically designed so that if, if a company is doing something that's different than what they say in their, in their, on their website for network management, they're going to violate the rules. Are they allowed to throttle or they're not allowed to throttle or can they only throttle if they tell us they're going to throttle? So, I mean, <laughs> taken literally without any of the, uh, you know, there, there are some uh, anti you know, some merger agreements like with, with Comcast and like, but there are other ISPs out there that if they wanted to, the, the net neutrality rules have been overturned. They could choose to do something different.